<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Watch this. Sigh. I could go for a Plague Death Knight run. Let's do it. That's one I'm familiar with, at least, so... Uh, we want this. And the Ghoul Man. Alright, uh, basically all we have is your typical triple unholy plague death knight. We want to force the offerings of more plagues so that we can add a bunch of plagues to our opponent's deck. Try and get uh, the mummies passive as well. Uh, Hell yeah is banned from... Uh, being included in your starting deck, but you can draft her. Might have to just tempo one of these out. Yeah. What do Revive do? What does Revive do? It revives the minion. It's like it goes dormant for two turns after he dies. It'll be our little secret. What class is that? Mage. Well, we know that can't be another objection, right? Good. Could be a counter spell, though. This is probably more important than um, plagues right now. That's fine. It gives me a good answer with the uh, ghoul. That was a weird turn. A brilliant maneuver. This trades seemed a little bit goofed. Alright, so we've already seen objection and counter spell. We don't have to play around those anymore, right? We can just go two, two, four. Four, three, three. Uh, does this one run the torch? I never lie, but I never tell the truth. Yeah, welcome, Janet. I think that came from main deck. And force them to draw here with like a if I do this. The citadel stands never give up. There we go. Uh draw a wet ooh. This with Staff of the Primus? We want to add more copies of Staff of the Primus into our deck anyway, right? <laughs> she doesn't stack. Okay, but we have draw redundancy and she still gives us a high density of plagues. So it's still very good to get multiple copies. I'm a little bit nervous that I'm just going to draw the staff of the Primus, but... I'm way too good at this video game for that to happen.
Our book's mega good, though. Uh -huh. Yes, but having one of the best cards in our deck every time turn one is mega gooder. And also, I don't know that books are mega good. I think they're just generally pretty good because, like, they're applicable to nearly any deck, but... Protect the health on this. And I did want to get this down so that I could theoretically activate the uh, Mortician next turn. Which can also get us Helio. Looks like good win rate, but less than Synergy passes. Yeah. That, that, that's kind of what I was saying. What will wet your whistle? Finally, my ancestors are here. Synergy good, who'd have thunk? Yeah, and the thing is, like, I wanted... Staff of the Primus is a high-priority pick, right? So I want to get many copies of them, so it's going to only get better. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Weak willed. Seems like a good time for this. Uh, there's no reason to swing with the weapon here. Let the light save you yeah. as it saved me. Marrow Jar is a good card to play towards. Hey, join the codes or make my fist. That feels good. Hell yeah. You have earned an eternity of torment. Rock him. We just reshuffle, right? So they well must want met. something specific. Play Doh Warrior. Thank you for the uh, four months. Appreciate that. Let's go ahead and do this. It kind of tips off the- oh my god. The potential for a Marigar next turn, but... Jeez. That makes this zero mana. of draw. You have earned an eternal We haven't even hit one of our main power spikes in hand yet. My client has the heart of a period. Reporting for duty. 
Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. No reprieve! Share my pain! I'll put it back! Ah! At? I'm kind of hoping we'll get mummies for our passive, so this could uh, be good with uh, with that. It's also good with Marogar. Yep. More staves. Staves. We don't have to worry about uh, drawing the first one as much anymore. This is a lot of plagues early, isn't it? Let's look for the Helia, though. Is this one again? Secret is revealed. Is Putricide only hunter or is it hunter rogue? Let me play you a Only hunter, thank you. Think fast. Not sure if it was worth punching there, but I did it. I don't really want that to happen. <laughs> Might go here and then here next turn. If I don't draw anything better than that. I'm nervous about uh, that new secret and then I have no reason to swing at this moment. Where you followed. Think fast. So it only can go there. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Yikes. Don't worry, I shuffled a bunch of blood plagues into their deck. We'll be fine. Oh, wait. Fortunately, one of those is likely to be an ice trap. It's a little bit less so. Okay. These secrets have been pretty disruptive, unfortunately. Start here in case of snipe. You have earned an eternity of torment. Really would have liked them to have drawn at least one there so that I could get the uh, cheaper chained guardians.
cannot be Uh, right after I played those Chain Guardians, that's alright. Imagine they're just looking to fetch up a um, an explosive here. need to not take another six damage from something weird here i guess uh the hero power could potentially oh if they roll huffer they win right unless they have something guaranteed it's lucky for me GG. Wait. <laughs> this time for sure. Third time truly is the charm. Ooh, there's the mummy magic. We only have these three right now, but it's better than Deathly Death, and it's better than Band of Bees. And eventually we'll get some more Cavaldiers. Well met. <laughs> Third, hell yeah, fourth staff. Wait, why does this one cost zero? It's all minions? Or all weapons, rather? Jeez. I need to learn how to read. That uh, Agatha's Embrace is going to be a little bit spooky for me. Twelve consecutive turns of staff? Not necessarily consecutive, I still do have to draw them. Well met. Plague's good, duel's good, YouTube's good. Enjoying the content, keep at it less than three. I appreciate that, Fritzel. Thank you for the eight months. The loss will be mourned. And you. you have earned an eternity of torment. Job done. That feels good.
They don't have their weapon down yet, so they're not healing off of that. That is, however, a weapon. They're getting cost reduction, though. Think fast. My pain doesn't compare to my So they currently have nine plagues in their deck. Not the highest density. But we do have a life tap, so pretty good hero power that can get us some stuff. It's fine. Doesn't compare to your plague. Share my pain. Let's go ahead and increase the density of plagues in their deck. Use our mana. Uh, sixteen plagues, but. Half their deck is now plagues, at least. Well met. Go hogs! Thank you for the uh, three months. Can you draw a plague, please? No. Plagues. There we go. Now we're now we're talking. That feels good. We never really present a very good option for them to uh, going to say for them to uh, Primus. Think fast. I for him, for him, for him. So that's why I wanted this dead and I like having this retain the uh, reborn so that we can get a little stickiness. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. Another one. Hell yeah. Again. Everybody needs a casket. You have earned an eternity. Think fast. Alright, just draw three plagues here. They have, uh, 23. It's one. Unlucky. Aren't you a special one? My great titans. I don't think I want to do this because then that gives them a good um, Primus in response. 
It's a really good draw here. Now, at least if they do respond with a Primus, we can Primus their Primus. Hey, they finally drew the weapon. There we go. Primus doesn't save them, though. Yeah, but it's still funny. We get to Primus their Primus. Remnants of life. May your enemies tremble. A fair battle. Or we could show the, the final copy of Thelia. It's between the, the patron. I guess the patron gives us a lot of uh, corpses for the Marogar. Yeah, maybe it is patron. It builds out our curve a little bit. I'm a little light on three. I have a high density at four. I think it's a uh, patron. I think it's just March. Yeah, unless the Stranglethorn Tiger ends it. Actually... The BGH isn't bad. We've got Zola the Primus, Zola the Chain Guardian. Okay, we'll take the core. We don't need to Zola the... Hell yeah, that, that's absurd. Don't be silly. I don't really want to spend the corpses on the Malignant Horror anyway, so... Fortunately, we do have other wing conditions. Just follow our curve here. Oh, welcome, Blue Train. Yeah, Marogar is something to work towards. Wait. Okay. Oh, they don't have the infinite arcane, right? Isn't this a... That's a starting treasure, right? That's very good news for me. Hell yeah. My pain to your I just want to try and get the Chain Guardian down quickly. Oof! Opponent must be punished. I do have a lot of uh, staves here. Let's hold them. That feels good. It's a good time for that particular plague. Bird. This is why I left the uh, weapon swing. Think fast. It's probably better just to play the Guardian, but this is really funny. I think you should reserve one Helia in case the mage uses their destroyed deck spell. Um, that's a bad suggestion for two very, very clear reasons. Uh, one, they don't have the destroy your deck spell. And two, shuffling after the destroy your deck spell doesn't do anything. A little bit of sustain is probably not a bad thing. Mm. Skip. I always love Grimmer Patron plus Hat. Yeah, but I don't think keeping that is uh, worthwhile. I think having early, like, I need a two drop. I uh, probably shouldn't have swung there. 
but we got the good uh, plague. There's just no benefit to it. Oh, they're attacking for a lot. Good thing I got that blood moon. <laughs> Battle stance is a little spooky. All right, any distressed cavaldiers? No. Let's hold this. Draw. Oh, no. Uh, probably playing this next turn. My hand isn't great, so I want to try and change that. The citadel stands but we do almost certainly uh, just play the Helia next turn. Was I just talking about my lack of <laughs> three mana cards too, and we just kind of drew all of them? All right, we'll play the one that we top decked for extra t tilt factor. You have earned the of Think fast. Probably want to start shuffling more in here now in case we draw into a chained guardian. And because of like the battle stance clock, like. I am taking a fair amount of damage. So getting some blood plagues in there wouldn't be... When I play Patron on three. Uh, I explained why, but... Because my hand was not good. And I wanted to change that. Has reached 20% plague. Yeah, but we had somebody over 50% plagues earlier and they still weren't drawing them, so what are you gonna do? I assume that's just a bunch of eulogizers, which we cover with the uh, down with the ships. Okay, this could be a good time for. Uh, actually. Let's hold that, see if we can get the hat, bait out some. Removal this turn. Get a stickier board going into the Blood Moon turn. This also allows me to retain the Zola for the Grimmer Patron if I want it. Says summon a copy of the minion. Soul Stealer could come down this turn. It's a lot of corpses being spent. Opponent has a bajillion health at this point. Fortunately, we have a bajillion damage as well, so. The loss will be mourned and you. Lads are gone. Oh. 
right into the top hat draw too. I want something to die here. So this might look a little awkward, but I need to get this act. Oh wait, that's not. That's awkward. All right, I guess we're cashing in on this now. This might bait out a Soul Stealer, which will give me the Marrow Gar. That feels good. Your souls belong to That feels good. Dead man shredded. Oh yeah. We barely got one big enough to cover this. I wonder if we're getting to a point where we might need to stop uh, hero powering just because fatigue could become a concern at a certain point. Never mind. It's kind of an inherent clock with that. Oh wait, don't they just die? They gotta do something here. They did something. You have earned an eternity of toil. Everybody needs a casket. My pain doesn't come to you. Their plague density is. 22? 23? Do I need plagues for any reason anymore other than this? I think I hold. I don't really want to. Oh, I do have the grain crates in there. My pain doesn't compare to your plague. That feels good. No reprieve. Share my pain. But I don't. I I'm getting close to fatigue. Or too close to fatigue for comfort here. That is so many plagues. We're gonna have to uh, Primus whatever comes out of this thing. Surely they'll draw some more plagues here, right? 
this feeds their uh ripper but it also it, which in turn then feeds my <laughs> primus right may your enemies a fair battle i don't know how fair this was to be honest with you Oh. Oh yeah. Tiger. <laughs> Another hell yeah. <laughs> uh I think it's actually the the core option. Th these are pretty poor and this is like another Marogar. I think another Marogar is probably better than another Helia at this point. All right, we'll keep the uh, patron for chat. Probably not very good, but everybody got really upset with me when I didn't keep it last time. Uh, the staves kind of offset the sapling, right? Although not necessarily with the uh, mending pool if one sticks. Wait, the saplings are 2-2? Two, two? No, 1-1. One, one. Firestone Moist. Think fast. Yeah, apparently no quest. This maybe is like a minion version of the deck. much harder is it to edit a duels run um it's a lot more time which makes it uh, hard to retain focus throughout the entire editing process so it's a it's quite a bit more difficult but views are quite high for the duels content so can't complain yeah it also depends on how deep the run goes craig has them think fast I think I want to hit the uh, undead minions here, so I'm going to do it in this order. I don't see a reason to equip a new weapon. That just leaves me susceptible to weirdness. Think fast. Think fast. No hell he has yet. So no reason to... Uh, Go in too hard on some of these uh, shuffle effects. You gotta let the music do the magic. Okay, that's a little bit concerning, isn't it? Swing once. We're still just trying to get this down. actually four you have earned an eternity of torment think fast this they do have quite a lot of healing just by nature of their mending pool but again as we learned last game we can Org. We can offset healing reasonably well. I'm more concerned about their board states. The citadel stands strong. We only need one. 
run. Do you feel about having to spend gold arena tickets on stream for your content? Uh, well, I mean, I'm net positive in terms of like return on my duels runs for right now, so it's not a big deal. Also, Blizzard uh, frequently gives me a lot of free stuff, so like in-game resources are not a big concern for me. Do we want a second one of these? Probably, yeah. It's better than the Zola for sure. Uh, I'm not necessarily tired of wild, I'm just really enjoying duels. It doesn't... I don't know. All right, glad we picked the BGH. Duels is only missing like one or two sets at the moment, so it's still pretty wild. Yeah, it's just another like high power level format that uh, I think leans into my playstyle in Hearthstone a little bit more than current wild does because current wild is just like very doing the most broken stuff you can very quickly whereas duels you get time to set up which is <laughs> geez, pretty closely aligned to what I like doing and uh, feels more rewarding as a result We do be shuffling. So that's 16 plagues now, plus another uh, four from that. So we'll be up to 20 once that dies. Tiger! Jeez. I, I sincerely don't even know what to do at this point. I've just got this abundance of ridiculousness. Share my pain! You gotta let the music do the Two Inzas. Wow. I can't believe they got two copies of a high power legendary. Need to turn this off in Firestone, it's really distracting. That feels good. I don't think Shaman has a great response to a board like this. Plague of Murlocs, maybe? Okay. You think your opponent is having fun? Not as much as I am. Those are going to be at a very reduced cost, so... Pain. Rotten. 
Tiger lethal. I think it might have to be Exerciser. This seems like a bit of a liability with all the plagues we're shuffling. This is quite a bit too expensive and like it is a good answer to big minions, but that's what the BGH already does. I think it's just Exerciser. I really don't want to add another weapon, but I already have four staves, so. And none of the other ones seem that appealing. There's another hell yeah. Oh god, this is the ultra value deck, right? Is that a problem for me though? Finally, a real fight. I don't think I have anything to point that out. I really I'd rather find some minions. Oh god. They got the nutty treasures. Think fast. Wait, but they're not. They're not the priest heal. They're not the heal thing. The life path one. You can shuffle all of your minions and do their deck. Uh, yeah. That's fine. If they're using that treasure. Oh, it's a hero power gamer. Is that what we're. Think fast. Predicting? Could be. What does this do again? If you summon an undead, give up poisonous. Are these guys undead? Unlucky. Tree of life combo. There's a tree of life combo? What is it? Like, embrace darkness tree of life and then you just have armor to <laughs> offset it? Because that would be pretty funny. I can't overdraw with this, so there's no reason to like, uh, play the staff. The attack buff hero power is banned in duels. I don't know. This is like day four of playing duels for me. No thank, only plague. We'll let the opponent do all the thinking. We'll do all the plaguing. It might combo next turn, which would be sad. Show them the shadows. Looks like, uh... We need to send everything face then, right? I say resolve! Think fast! And then hope they draw exactly one plague here. And then they can't go in, right? My pain doesn't compare to your plague! Bummer. That's a bummer. Think fast. I still resolve. My pain. Doesn't compare to your plague. So they're just preloading the effect, I guess.
I think they pretty much threw. Did they? Time grows short. Yeah, I don't know. I'll take your word for it. I've never seen this deck. Low roll for them, at least. Okay. Double frost is pretty good for disrupting whatever it is that they're doing. Embrace the Shadow is banned from initial deck building. Uh, they already have played the new Cavaldir. Wait, they don't have the effect anymore. Was it because of the Blood Plague? Oh no! Maybe they did actually throw. The plague dealt two damage to you? I was not paying attention. That is really funny. So they need to find another copy of the uh, Shadow Touch Cavaldia then. Just gives me a second Primus later. Uh-oh. <laughs> I see you later, blue thingies. Thanks for hanging out. That feels good. Well met. Hey, Ruffle. What's the most important answer in the universe? I'm getting flashbacks to, uh, what are the odds of that? <laughs> uh, like, the most recent sub was also a 42-monther who asked the same question. Thank you, uh, Shmoopy, for the 42 months. That's incredible. I don't have strong answers to a wide board, unfortunately. Other than a Marogar, which I have two of. Alright, we do be rounding up them lads. This would be a good time to have a hat for these lads, but... Probably the Amonthul. Yeah, welcome Glitchy. Oh. Quite bad. Madness will consume you. All right, uh, I gotta find the uh, marrow gar stat. That's very bad. I have to draw it off the top now. No, oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Wait, now I can play that and the Marrow Guard too, right? That feels good. That feels good. This cannot be found. 
Okay. Good answer. Good answer. I'm just preparing for my uh, future on Family Feud. Yeah, duels is an incredible amount of fun. I can't believe it took me so long to figure that out. Oh, right. That's kind of fine, though. Because I do have the ghouls waking up next turn. So at least I can clear the... Like, they might have wanted to hold that for the turn when one of these ghouls came out so they could mind control it. Hey, welcome, Alders. Okay, now they're just going to... Uh, the AoE, I guess? Or the mass hysteria? Is there a max amount of plagues in your opponent's deck? Uh, yeah, 60, which is the deck. Uh... Max. Okay, they do still have the main deck, Yogg. They do have, like, the main deck, Yogg, still, right? So that on a real card. Okay, now it's a real card. <laughs> That'll teach me. Hell yeah. I don't have board space for that. Yeah, we're gonna bone storm so hard. Kona won't know what hit him. Other than a bone storm. They've already run one Psychic Scream or played one. Was that main deck? Where did it go? So there's a possibility they. <laughs> Opponent lacks the critical information here. Also, I'm in. No, I'm gonna die to a plague here. Big numbers. Incredible. I needed that healing. That's what I was going for. Oh, that's so lucky. Please, no damage. More healing. More cost increase, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, maybe if I were smart, I would have played a taunt there. But who needs to be... Remember what I said earlier, chat. No think, only plague. Best nourish ever? Yeah. Really, if you think about it, the smart play by the opponent would have been to just not draw any cards, leaving lethal on the board so they die. That's the smart play. Um, This has one card that is reasonable, but the, the rest just dilute our deck, so we're skipping. All right, I think we just keep a staff because we do have a failure rate associated with the uh, Exerciser. Just to be safe. 
That's pretty good with the hero power. That's pretty good in general. Oh, I didn't play the second staff with a dummy. As well. Gives up a card now, but has the potential for tempo in the future. This will be tough. They'll get to the point where they keep a full hand. Uh, sure. Then they don't get cards from their deck, and we just hit them with a really big Marogar. Almost out of time. Uh, I don't have a direct answer to that. The Citadel stands uh oh! Take two and call me in the morning. Well, they already might be at the point where they're in full hand. <laughs> like, I'm a lot more concerned about these concoctions than I am their uh, full hand. Raffle when he throws the game. You're going to have to explain to me how that's a throw. I'll give you some time to formulate your thoughts. I think we've attacked in the freezing. I don't know what happened to Deck Tracker, but or uh, Firestone, but it's not showing the potential secrets. Is it because I attacked into pack tactics? Like, I'm just supposed to know that the random secrets are pack tactics. Also, that attack is what allowed me to kill the future side to begin with. So, I don't know. I guess getting logic out of a uh, chatter that makes those type of comments is. Probably a fool's errand. Think fast. Now this would be a throw if it's explosive, but I've already attacked base, clearly. If I had logic, I wouldn't be watching Harson. Well, at least you're self-aware. I can respect that. I don't really have great taunt minions other than the, uh, Yummer Jar. So... A little bit concerning. Almost out of time. Saxy. Probably should have drawn first, like a normal human. But been dark trapped this whole time. I shouldn't have drawn first. That's that's let that be a lesson to you, chat. Never, never draw first. That's the lesson we should get out of that. Always tap last. Yeah, you never know when it's going to be a a random dark trap, which is going to make for a mega life tap. It seems like they wanted to take the Chain Guardian off the board if that's coming down this turn. Let's see what's in here first. Maybe there's like a... None of these are that appealing. 
You know what is appealing, huh? Hell yeah. Job done. Blood Plague? Unlucky. What I need is for them to play a big minion here that doesn't kill me so I can Primus it. Otherwise, I have to Primus my own Helia for 4 health. <laughs> and that doesn't feel good. I guess I could also just set Taunts, but we'll see what they do on their turn. I guess I could always go with the... Uh, They just took eight. But if we just go tall here, I get three minions. Aragar really liked that right one more. Yeah, that's kind of rough to be choosing favorites. Synergy. Pog. Did you though? Wow. Man, I after like the first wave, I have not gotten good treasures. I think it's just the creepy curio. <laughs> oh my god. Uh I do not have a good track record against uh discard warlock. They tend to high roll me pretty hard. Is Bran in duels? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Okay, maybe that'll save me. Do you destroy an enemy minion and a copy of that minion? To okay, we've seen that in like... Um, was our, oh, that's not good timing. <laughs> oh no, they steal your hell yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, like, that's not the concern. <laughs> uh, this is a brutal matchup, isn't it? Do we just go full smork? Because I only have, like, a very narrow window of when I can get damage through with these plagues. Hit your own face at least? Thank you. Jeez. Clear the board? Okay. Time for the ultimate no think only plagues? Like, the, honestly, since I don't have a Marogar in hand, this is probably just going to be a loss. The only potential outcome that could work out for me is if I just like hyper hyper rush down the plagues. The problem is they not only like deal damage to me after the quest line is completed, but then on top of that, they uh, they actually deal damage to me once the opponent completes the quest line. So I'm just, I'm pretty severely boned. Just by nature of the matchup. Like, the plagues sincerely cannot kill them at this stage. They um, they just complete the quest line for them, and then without costing the opponent any mana, and then I'm 
just start taking a bunch of damage. this do? Okay. Well, there's something to do. But first, we have to do something dumb. We have zero corpses going as well, so... Also, I'm at 18. I'm just kind of, like, losing the, uh, the board game plan. I hope they don't have hand space for the Tamsin. Uh, maybe, but I don't think that's terribly reliable as a game plan. Well met. We only need one. Slime. Think fast. Thank you for the prime. Probably no reason to swing with this. Oh, that's a good burn. You're welcome, Umbra. Whoops. Wow. Three mana wild grow. This is not a great Marogar either, unless we start getting some uh, Holy Plagues. Oh, that is quite clever. Blood Plague helps. Cost increase helps. But also doesn't progress the quest. Are we just going to eat the full string heart immediately? Yes, we are. Oh, welcome, Seizure. Alright, we have what? Uh, 8, 13 plagues in the deck. They have a pretty thick deck because of the Scroll of Wonders. Which, it's amazing that. They've drawn almost half of the scrolls already, given how early we are in the game. the one I needed the most for the uh, sake of the corpse generation. Oh, I might be dead here.
I am dead here. Yeah. Uh, it's just they rushed me down. The uh, plague or quest line didn't interaction didn't matter in the slightest. These are terrible. I don't. Oof. Two more chain guardians is tempting though. I don't like diluting my deck, but man, those are good. What does this hero power do? Does anyone know? It's some purple guy flexing. Mech Finley, maybe? Okay, so I should probably keep the Plague Strike then. Give a minion Divine Shield and Wind Fury. Okay, yeah, I want stuff that fights for board. Thank you. Your first battle cry card, draw a card. It costs not less, two less, but not. Okay, sure. Think fast. Uh, I probably want to use this to break divine shields, right? Oh, it has it overload too. Wow, that's an expensive hero power. This is probably good into the uh, hero power as well. Yes, uh, we do indeed have six Helios. Two games in a row that happened. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, this time it's the turn before the hell yeah. You have earned an eternity of All right, uh, time to start spamming some plagues for the triple. Uh, Chained Guardians we have. Now we want them to draw them. So obviously. In my hand, there's a decent chance that's a Chained Guardian. Half of my hand is Chained Guardian. We've created a temporal anomaly. Uh, they should get the 11 mana ones, right? In the same way, if you copy a uh, giant, it will consider your hand, not the uh, per not the copy of the hand. Turn down that racket. Are we really going to do this? Silence it. I give up two weapon swings with the. Oh, I guess it's lethal if I did that. So yes, I should have. It's fine. Well, just to have them draw a plague here. See? It's not a miss lethal. How dare you suggest that. It's the only one that makes sense here, right? It's way too late to go searching for a hilt. Down with the ship. Huh. That's probably not worth. Look, we probably only need one hell yeah. Let's let's actually try and win from here. I've made <laughs> I've made enough goofy misplays. Hey, see you later, Schmoopy. Thanks for hanging out. 
Oh no! It's the first time that happened. Wow. Okay. Save. My pain doesn't compare to your pain. Uh, the Helia effect doesn't stack, it just adds three more to the deck. So it just increases the density of plagues in the opponent's deck. Is the reason to have multiple Helios, as well as like um, Share my pain. draw redundancy. How does this deck have seven Helia? Uh, I think we only have six, right? I don't know if deck tracker is working properly. So don't don't be ridiculous. There's only six in here. Are we really going to do this? All right, I guess I'll do it right this time. BGH, I want to say BGH for a yog. No BGH value yet? That is simply not true. We've BGH'd a rag and it was glorious. <laughs> Y'all got any of them hell yes? Do I swing here? I maybe give it a turn or two, or at least uh, some time to find more weapons. Uh, our passives are Mummy Magic and uh, the Gromash thing, where it reduces the weapon cost and draws a weapon. Yeah, the passives are six Elias. Clearly. Oh. I don't like that. I should have just killed one of those off uh, earlier. They have another one here. The time potential. But they're not like actually developing onto the board. So I'm not too bent out of shape about this. Other than we're losing uh, corpse generation, which could be beneficial. Well, speaking of. Think fast. There's our tiger. Is this the third Helia? I've lost count. Also, I don't know how to count to begin with. Jeez. Puna really decided to draw them plagues. No count, only plagues? You're absolutely right. I don't know what I was thinking. No, I can't. Gener oh, I can't generate that though. Nice. I bestow these gifts upon the world. That's not a yog. I've got a second one from the first uh, creation protocol.
I've got the beast in my sights. Death cannot be found. Death cannot be found. Yo, we need. Or hell yes. Is that one of the first times they've discovered this game? Doesn't seem like they're making a lot of use out of that orb, but... I don't remember what spells they got. That's a good one. Well, that doesn't reduce this turn, at least. Oh. Wow! Did they go nature studies into Shadow Word Pain into... Yes, they did. My god. What a gamer. Got a lot of plagues in there. Apparently not enough. Staff. Not staff. Funny interaction. Uh, what do we want? Frost or... Unholy. Frost into Scourge. I don't know if I want to Scourge this turn. I will find a way. Unholy. Symbol of death. Oh, they got poof. They didn't die. Wait, he's active? I have the, uh... It's still worth it, right? This is the Yogg, finally, I imagine. Like, it has to be, right? The time reveals Azeroth's potential. Well met. Eleven months. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Arwell. Appreciate the eleven months. Yes, like this. This is borderline, but probably not as good as just well a skip. Met. Appreciate that. Let's just skip. Uh, doesn't look like it's the torch one, right? Maybe they still have the torch as the treasure, but maybe I keep the chain guardian with a hell yeah. Eh. We've got a high density of both of them. We've got five chain guardians and six helias. I think. I think we'll be fine. Okay, that's a little concerning. Okay, it's secret. I think it's similar to the deck we faced in the first match, if I'm not mistaken. It'll be our little secret.
That's a good card in this matchup. It's a good card in every matchup, everyone knows that. Fingers crossed, no objection. We've got a bit of redundancy, so even if it is, not the end of the world. You have earned an eternity of torment. <laughs> it's the upside of having six Helios in your deck. Hey, welcome, Tiberius. Doing well, thank you. So this is going to hurt, but we do have answers next turn. Your signature is required. Really needed them to draw a plague. Think fast. Uh, that's just going to carry the game, unfortunately. Unless I can miraculously get to the, uh... Dear all Ruffle Taco House customers, after bad responses to the stir-fry recipe that didn't get leaked, we have changed it to liver and pasta. Oh God. As we all know, Ruffle gets liver delivered to his house on a daily basis. Fry the liver for 40 minutes, make a tomato and cheese sauce, boil the pasta for 10 minutes, stick together and serve. Enjoy customers. In death, I've mastered the art of Thank you, Zach. We only need one. Death cannot be done. Yeah, that was a uh, unfortunate game. I'm off it. Oh, we do get another treasure. Amalgamate? What does amalgamate even help with? I guess it generates corpses. I'll try it, but it seems really bad. Speaking of really bad, keep the plagues. Uh, what do, do I need? Board clears against this. I don't know what his hero power does. I don't know anything about Vandar. Reduce the cost of big minions? That's not really that helpful for the Tomb Trader then. Everybody's saying yes, but like dealing three to big minions doesn't seem that helpful. Alright. Guess I'll take it. Like, I feel like I'd rather have a Chain Guardian. I just want to read this here up there. Reduce the cost of two random neutral minions in your hand that cost four or more by two. Yeah, I don't know how good the Tomb Trader is in this. Unless I can get a board that does some chip damage. Opponent also must have been convinced by Twitch chat to pick that. Think fast. Basically need Exerciser ASAP. Does Exerciser answer that? Wouldn't I want like Chained Guardians, BGH, that type of thing? I feel like I'm getting bad advice and inconsistent You've advice from chat. They have a death rattle passive? Oh, I missed that. 
Bubba. It's a good and clean answer. Absolute units. Finally, yeah, this is not the type of deck that we have a great matchup into, is it? Those seven drops are pretty bad. Case in point. Or eight drops. Eight drops are usually good. I just got lucky there. You got the wrong guy, pal. Shiny. My shiny. <sighs> Alright, maybe this is okay after all. But I do still stand by the fact that I should have searched for the Chain Guardian and prioritized those. No Helias yet? Uh, that's not true. Didn't I play one on curve? Why did you keep Traitor, by the way? Because everybody in Twitch chat told me to. Every single time I asked, should I keep the tomb, the, do I need to keep the tomb trader? Everyone in every answer I got was yes. We only need one. So I guess I should have known that it was a bad idea. Even if I draw a Marogar, I don't have. Uh, well, that could be a bad idea. It was. They just get a copy of the Frost Plague, right? Probably need a higher density of uh, blood you plagues in their deck for now. Because I need, like, I don't survive as it stands. Blood? Zero plagues. Unlucky. Oh no! Did I manage not to go 12 wins with this? This is an unfortunate set of games at the end. Ugh. Not even that great of rewards. Really bummer run.
Thank you to legendary patrons Battlefly, Blage, Brian Quinn, Bay Cinderheart, Fizzle Jizzix, Free All the House Elves, Industrials Black, Justice Crater, Kali Alkali, Cathandrian, Lilu, Nate Drex, Onu Rubu, Shadow One TV, Sognisman, and Wampus Thylampus.